So I've been asked a fantastic question around how yoga can actually help with endometriosis. Perhaps you get that it can alleviate pain and you get that it can loosen adhesions, but how does it specifically address endometriosis? And this is a fantastic question. And it's really about connecting the dots because we often assume one thing equals something else. So do yoga equals solve endo. The body doesn't work that way. The body works holistically and every single component that you add in is creating an environment for your body to do the healing. So I want to show you exactly how it does this. Okay, so if we imagine um, some of the key symptoms that you experience with endometriosis. So one of the first ones that most of us are familiar with is hormone imbalance. Now, hormone imbalance, what it does um, with endometriosis is it tends to cause too much estrogen. Uh, so too much estrogen triggers more endometriosis growth. Estrogen is a growth stimulating hormone, so it naturally um, will cause more endometriosis growths. And this is where a lot of people focus their energy on. They focus on reducing those estrogens. That's why your doctor will generally put you on the pill or some kind of hormone treatment in the goal to reduce that estrogen and thereby reduce the growths in the body, right? Now, what we're doing here is we're taking one thing to equal something else. But what we don't realize is that actually our hormones are all interrelated to everything else that we do. Now, the way that yoga specifically addresses hormone imbalance is like this. So your hormones are kind of a little bit like a pyramid and at the top of that pyramid is cortisol. Now cortisol is your stress hormone and when you are in a heightened state of stress, so if you have a lot of anxiety, i.e. worrying about endometriosis, which come on let's be honest most of us do, or if we have a highly stressful job, or if we're doing forms of exercise that trigger too much cortisol release, this is going to give us a need for more cortisol. The driver, the need in the body is going to be higher for more cortisol. You're going to need more of it. And because of that, the body will use up all the things that it needs to make that cortisol. The main one being fats. So your good healthy fats is what makes all the various hormones. Now, if there is either a limited amount of fats in your diet or there is a high demand for cortisol, what it will do, this cortisol dude, will steal from the other hormones in your body. And one of those is progesterone and all the others. I mean, there's lots of other hormones that help regulate our cycle. But progesterone is key because progesterone will counteract too much estrogen. They kind of work like a seesaw. So if you've got too much estrogen, you have low progesterone. So high levels of estrogen, low levels of progesterone. Now to balance them, we need to bring up the progesterone, drop the estrogen. And one of the ways to do that is to provide the body with more of the things that it needs to make progesterone, which means reducing the need for cortisol. I hope this makes sense. Uh, it's, you know, there's a lot of different components going on here. So let me just run over it again. High cortisol will rub your body and need all the tools that it needs to make that. By doing that, it's not going to be able to make progesterone. Progesterone counteracts the effects of high estrogen. So, how does yoga do this? Well, yoga drives down this need for high cortisol. It drops your cortisol levels. It drops that anxiety. 
it helps regulate your hormones by doing that. So by having low cortisol, decreased cortisol, you're able to lower the need here. Your body's able to go, oh, fantastic. I have enough to make the progesterone. Thereby, you're going to have more progesterone. So you're going to have more progesterone, which is going to drive down the estrogen, which is thereby going to alleviate the amount of growths that are happening with endometriosis. So I hope I've explained this and maybe watch this video again if it's, if it's not clear because there's lots of components going on. Um, but essentially, by dropping the cortisol, you're dropping the level of estrogen and that is the growth factor for endometriosis. This is just one aspect of how yoga helps you get your endometriosis under control, how it helps you alleviate some of those symptoms, but also drives down the growths, the endometriosis itself. So feel free to ask me questions about this. Feel free to post in the comments. There's lots going on here and there's lots of different components to this. Um, I'm going to show you some more within the yoga challenge. So if you haven't signed up yet, go to Indo Empowered forward slash yoga challenge, all one word, all together, and I'll share more with you there. Okay, see you there. Bye.